Hey friends, hey family, como estas? Bienvenidos. It's your girl, Melissa Q. Back with another video. We are excited because I am bringing favorites back. You guys love favorites. And so I do have some things. I also have a fail and it's going back to the stove. Okay, let's go ahead and hop into the favorites. I do have some hair care products. Y'all know we love talking about hair on this channel. Um, curly girl stuff. This is an Odie but a goodie and this is Onion Hairdo. I have been loving and going through this non-stop as a moisturizer, as a leave-in. It is glycerin free so if you guys are high porosity and you are glycerin sensitive, I highly recommend this product. Um, I can use this alone. This could be a standalone product and I really do enjoy it because it smells like cookies. Okay, it smells like cookies and it does the job. It has a lot of oils in here, a lot. It's non-greasy, but it's good and creamy and it's full of oils and I love this. Um, it's lightweight, it quenches the hair and um, it's a daily hair quenching lotion. So it, it serves as a like hair lotion, a moisturizer. And I do feel like that there's a difference between a leave-in and moisturizer. And I've gotten that before. And I think I'm gonna come with a Q&A um, on, you know, at some top point talking about the FAQs, the frequently asked questions that I get for my high porosity natural hair. And so this, my hair absolutely love, it drinks it up. It has, some really it has squalene in it y'all and i love this my hair loves this um i guess i know my skin loves squalene so if you were looking if you were looking for a product that you wanted squalene in this is actually one that has a product that absolutely the uh, like ingredients that my hair absolutely loves and so yes Enough said about that one. That was an Odie, but a goodie. This is definitely a spring essential, and this is the Smooth Naturals Nourishing Mist. I absolutely love it. Um, you saw me mist it on my hair. It actually revitalizes the curls. I feel like it gives it life. If your curls are looking like dry and quenched and you want them to look alive again, put something like this on it and or put um, an oil on your hair to give it some shine and then spritz it so you are moisturizing and sealing. You putting this on and then sealing it with the oil, it will do wonders. This actually has a softening protein in it, a silk protein in it, and it also has a soy protein. I really like it. You know, I rave about some Smooth Naturals products, but this really does good for also on the body. If you are outside and you are quenched, yes. My husband loves this on his feet. It softens the skin. Um, it also hydrates the skin. So I highly recommend this for like from head to toe, literally only but a goodie but this is my number one glycerin free hair mist so yes really great for wash and goes really get great for like retwisting the hair when you want to like dampen it but you don't want to wet it that is a great product if you want your hair to look more polished do something to the edges okay and not necessarily you ain't you don't have to like take the comb and do the the butt baby hairs but in my wash and go today I use this product and I just went around the edges okay it keeps it from looking like dry and shabby but it also gives kind of like a polished look to around the edges to make it look like hey I really did do this curly hair um, hairstyle on purpose and so if I wanted it to like slick it down and let it dry I would just put on a you know um, I would put on a scarf and let it dry, but this is the Can 2 Maximum Hold Moisture Retention Styling Gel. I actually picked up two of these because these were kind of hard to find, but you can find these at CVS. Um, I did not see these at Target, but this one specifically, the Moisture Retention Styling Gel from Can 2, um, I've seen it at Walmart and I've seen it at CVS. So if you're looking for this gel, those are two places that you can look for it. But this is really great. It's a great product under $10. I need to come with a video about uh, 10 under 10. So I really do enjoy that. That's an Odie and a Goodie. No, it's a new. It's a newbie. It's not an Odie and Goodie. It's a newbie. Let's talk about an Odie but a Goodie in skincare. I don't think I've ever talked about this on my channel in terms of this product but this is the Mary Kay Timewise Age Minimize 3-Day Daycare 
day cream SPF 30. I really like this and I have been utilizing the eye cream. I'm the eye cream very, hydrates my under eye but I like this because this is anti-aging. It has you know it has your SPF in it this is for normal to dry skin they do have one for combination to oily but I really do enjoy this this is non greasy but it also it gives the skin some liveliness you know what I mean so I really do enjoy this and you should apply SPF like 15 minutes 10 to 15 minutes before uh, applying your makeup and then before you walk out the door like and you really want it to absorb to start to penetrate so it works and so i just really love this product i said i was going to try some mary Kay and see how i felt about it i used to use it years ago i want to see i'm i'm getting into the age where i am a lot more conscious about every single skincare product being very specific for my skin no matter what i'm using spf because i've noticed that when i use it it kind of subsides i'm i'm getting moles all over my face and freckles and i'm also getting them on my body but when i use spf i'm noticing that the aging process is slowed down if you're using any active ingredients especially like retinoids retinols if you're using any kind of like acids ahas bhas you need a sunscreen okay because otherwise you're reversing everything that you've done so anyway love that one i know that was a long explanation but moving on to another skincare product this is the youth to the people at adaptogen soothe and hydrate activate activated mist it has some peptides in here it has hyaluronic acid i love to use a product like this before i use my serums and the reason why the higher um, the hyaluronic acid this being in a mist this is going to it says calm recover and hydrate the skin i really like this because i feel like my serums are um, a bit more penetrable i really do like this to cool off my face but it has those peptides it's almost like a spray serum okay but I love especially if I'm using like a retinol a retinoid those type of things that can dry out the skin I really do like using this it's very very hydrating and I've used it quite a bit um, I cannot wait um, I'm really really liking you to the people although they're clean I feel like there are effective clean skincare brands and that is one of them okay another one this is a more on the not so pricey side which i love this was a collaboration with sunkiss alba alba and i believe dharma e still um sells this uh but this is the radiant glow face oil radiant glow face oil and it has jojoba argan and sea buckthorn oil in it and if you could see it also has like a gold shimmer i'm using I'm, i have it on my under my makeup today but i really do like this i feel like it gives my skin a glow this is a product that I could use like with no makeup at all and just press it into the skin and it's going to give my skin a very, very nice glow. So if I'm around the house and I didn't want to wear makeup, I'm going to put on my skincare and then I'm going to make sure that I have this radiant glow oil on and I feel like I'm just going throughout the house, you know, stick on a little bit of concealer or this bye bye under eye concealing pot which i really like this is in the shade tan um this actually has a peach so i use this almost like more like a color corrector than a concealer it is more of a color correcting concealer i love to use those especially because i have dark circles and i really like to conceal my under eye it does brighten it a bit i really enjoy it and y'all didn't tell me i had some on my notes back to skincare because i forgot about two products is the beauty counter counter plus all bright sea serum i received this in the mail and i was like uh, i'll try it i'm one of those i need to try it for a while before i fall in love with it i am in love with this vitamin c vitamin c is something that i need in my skincare regimen but i really like this vitamin c number one because all 
vitamin C's are not made the same. There are some that are very irritable to the skin. This one is nice and soothing, but this one gives such a radiant glow to my skin. I really, really love this one. But it does give a radiant glow to the skin, which I really, really like. And it has a nice, pleasant, timid scent. It is not overpowering. It's not going to overpower, but it's a nice, oh it's it, i mean it doesn't smell like lemons or orange oranges but it does a, like a light citrus like natural type of scent and it also this is it has 10 percent vitamin c and it also has turmeric in it which is very great for brightening the skin i absolutely love this and um i am going to have to reach out to this brand because i'm like hey i really like this another product i have been loving is the uh, comfort cream by L'Occitane. Y'all, this is how much I love it. I, this is maybe my third jar of it, but this is an excellent cream at night. I would say during the day, I would love this during the fall and winter, but because this is spring and summertime, this is springtime, I will use this at night. It is a nice creamy. It's lightweight. I could wear this during the day, but I'm using more of my more lightweight um, and some of this, like some of these um, moisturizers also have SPF in it. And that's just an extra step that is n unnecessary. But it is so moisturizing and it's pleasant. I like the smell of it. Uh, I really like this from L'Occitane. And I just, I like the way that it makes my skin feel. It feels very supple and moisturized when I use it. Um, I don't think that this would be something ideal for someone with oily skin though. I think someone with dry, very dry skin, you could use this. If you have very dry skin, I would go in with both of these. If I have, I have like that normal, normal slash combo around my nose, T-zone. I would just use this one, okay? All right, before we move on to makeup, let's talk about this body care product. This is the Gold Bond Radiance Renewal Whipped Shea Butter. I've been looking at shea butters, okay, and body butters, and I feel like I want something that is going to make my skin supple. You know, we're getting older, and the face is not the only place where fine lines and wrinkles and skin wants to go south we need to make sure that it stays like a grape and not a raisin okay <laughs> but this has coconut oil cocoa butter and almond oil it's rich indulgent moisture i do like this i do like it it smells more like cocoa butter than anything which is i, I really like that scent um and i got it for this is a product that's like under 10 bucks but I feel like it gives such a great, such a great like shine or glow to the skin. And I really like body butters. So especially at night, getting out of the shower, you know, your skin can get de dehydrated. Yes. The battle of the body butters. I really like this one. It's inexpensive. You can pick it up at Walmart. I actually got mine from Ralph's or Kroger. And um, I have another one. I have a backup of this. It's excellent on the feet. If you want a good feet foot cream and you're like, hey, I can't find anything. Another product that I have been loving is this. And this is the e.l.f. Camel CC Cream. Now, this is what's crazy to me is that people are saying, and I do agree that it's somewhat a dupe to the... It cosmetics I like this better this to me is not as thick and tacky and sticky as the the it cosmetics CC cream I really like the CC cream but I felt like it was overboard this is perfect uh, this is in the shade tan 425 neutral it's a bit dark for me right now I could get away with it just because I um, was able to go back and put the concealer in certain areas. I think it's a little bit, um, this is going to be perfect for me in the summertime though. I will say that this is SPF 30. The reason why I wanted to get this, cause at first I was kind of reluctant 
and I was like I don't need any more foundations but this I really like because number one it has collagen peptides and um, niacinamides in it and niacinamides I'm sorry and it's color correcting full for coverage natural finish I have it on today I really been enjoying it and I can use it with a brush or with my fingers and really get a good spread and a good like even product okay and I really really like it I, th I feel like it is it's just a nice foundation like a CC cream it's gonna cover up things I might get a shade lighter later on but I love that it has a pump it has an expiration date on here this one says 7 2022 and um, yeah I've really been liking this I will probably run out of this because I like it so much and it's like a one-stop shop SPF it has the peptides the collagen and everything those are things that my women my age women over 40 we look for those things in our skincare and our makeup products so I really like that thing I'm going to share with you guys is my studio fix powder I have it in the shade NC 42 and I have been loving this this is what I've been doing with like for real for real like no I have no time I would put this on I'll put this on my under eyes um, after I've done my skincare and then I'll throw on this powder and because it's so full coverage I can put it on and even use um, this to set my under eye which I did today and it's perfect excellent so I really really like this if I wanted added coverage I put it on I could like you know press it into the skin today I just brushed it to set my makeup but it gave it a little bit of color so it kind of evened out how this looks um, and like I said this was tan 425 in I thought it was going to be a perfect match but it's a little bit dark but I know that this is how I tan in the summer so it, um, I would probably just need a shade lighter than this and I did take the quiz on the e.l.f. site uh, before purchasing in the store. And it said 425N. It's a little bit dark, so the shades may be off slightly based upon the test that you take online. These I love. These are quick fixes. And I can use this both as foundation. I can use these as concealer. And I can use it as color corrector. I think that I wish... That Vell Cosmetics would make a foundation just like these sticks where you could brush on and make it easy. I know I love their sunset foundation. I love, love, love that foundation. But these right here are like, I can just throw them in my purse, throw them in my um, my makeup bag, and it's like a brush or whatever. And I just go in, I can use my finger, I can use a brush. I really, um, I really, really like these. These are like holy grail, like don't want to be without these. I have it in 5N. That is in the summertime. It's a peach tone, okay? Or my girls that have a deeper skin tone, this is the shade for you. That's 5N. I can already feel that it's drying. And these I love because they're self-setting. So I don't ha even have to go with a powder after this. I can just tap, 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 tap this in and it's going to look like skin. I did a reel using Veil Cosmetics and I absolutely love theirs. Okay, so that's 5N. This is 3G. Let me show you how 3G looks. Okay. And it's it does it gives you time to move the product, but I can feel it already kind of setting. I'll leave a link down below where you can grab these, but it is so worth it. Oh, I think you can get them on Amazon too. This is like a great Amazon find. And this is 4G. 4G, 3G, 5N. Two more. These both are from the brand Smooth Naturals. Smooth Naturals is now uh, in 2021. They came on the makeup scene and this is the gloss. And this is in the shade Melissa. <laughs> And I have it on my lips today. I absolutely love their lip glosses. I feel like it has gloss and pigment, which is something they're not sticky at all. And I feel like that these are women of color approved. You know, sometimes lip glosses can be ashy, sticky. They don't last. I feel like that this is actually a set. It's a lip gloss that I feel like is set. This is a lip gloss that like has set on the lips where... 
I feel like it's a little bit, um, when it starts to fade, it's going to look more like a, like a gloss stain. This is so pretty. It is so pretty. And, um, I just really love it. The brow, I, I was, I was, I expected this to be good, but not as good as it is. And I know, I know y'all know I love some smooth naturals, but honestly, I really love this brow pencil and it's called the brow pencil. Smooth Naturals, you did an amazing job, Janine. You did an amazing job with this brow pencil. I feel like it's just enough creaminess. Like sometimes I like my brow pencils to be creamy, but not too creamy where it looks waxy. And I love it to be a little bit stiff where when I'm using it, it's not breaking off. The Anastasia Brow Wiz always, always, because I feel like it's a drier formula, always breaks off. And I feel upset because I'm like, I'm spending this money, but it's breaking off. This has just enough creaminess. The pigment is great. It's not too like stark. And this is in the shade, what shade is this? Number five, okay? She is at the bottom. My last product that I wanna share with you guys is a fragrance from MAC. It is the Creme de Nude Shade Sense Et du Parfum. And I love this so much. It smells like creamy flowers. I know. It smells like if flowers were a dessert, this is how it would smell or taste. Okay. I really, really love, uh, I love the packaging, but I love the sales of the, I love the scent of this even better. Oh my goodness. I love this so much. I feel like that this is a beautiful day scent. I feel like that this would be great if you're going, you know how you want something, you know, Hey, you know, I'm going shopping and I want to, you know, smell nice. That's what I, this is like my going shopping or this is like Saturday or I'm going to breakfast with Forrest, but this is like, I'm going to breakfast and I don't want to be overpowering, but I want you to just like get a whiff of me. Mm, smell me. Okay. Oh, babe, you smell nice. Yes. Yes. <laughs> okay. So the fail, you guys. Sephora best skin ever. I thought I was gonna love this. I don't. It sits on top of my skin. I know there there were rev reviews, different reviews. This is what's going on. It's Melissa's skin is changing. My skin is changing and I'm telling you that when you start getting into your 40s, I would say late 30s, early 40s, um, going into your 50s, your skin changes and it's almost like you need to revamp your skincare, your hair care, and your makeup routines. I'm just saying, can I get a witness? Can I get a witness that that is true? I just realized best skin ever is not best skin for me, okay? And I love a lot of people love this. Um, it is going back to Sephora. I, I said that. I'm getting my money back. Um, I did pick it up during the sale. I did get 33 and It looks really good at first, but I'm going to tell you, it begins to break up. And um, I'm like, ooh, I'm waiting for it to absorb, like look like skin. And it never does that. And so it's going back. Great match, though. Great match, 33N. If you're NC42, 33N will work for you if you have a neutral skin tone. It was an excellent, excellent skin tone shade. But, y'all, it just sat on top of my face. And as you get older, you don't want that because it looks like cakey and it will accentuate the fine lines and wrinkles. I'm just saying... It was not my best skin. I, I didn't have the best skin life. I do have a foundation that I'm trying right now that I absolutely love. Um, and I'm going to share with that one. I'm using that one now. So if it's in my May favorites, we'll, we'll revisit that. But that's it, you guys. Hope you enjoyed this video. I post videos every week now. It's two to three times a week. I hope you guys come back. If you love things, all things curly, lifestyle, beauty, over 40, then this is the place that you would love. I'm going to give you the best, the best recommendations for any of those categories. And let me know what you have been loving this month. Let me know. It might be something I want to try. So thanks so much, loveys. I'll see you in the next one.